Hello friends and welcome to my channel. We all know that our time is a precious resource. So today I'm going to demonstrate how you can save time by using an amazing AI technique to explore, analyze and engage with online documents. Imagine you're a worker or a student and you want to find a resolution to a problem or current concern you might be grappling with. Using AI-based techniques, you can explore the concern by engaging with publicly available documents and asking questions around the problems you want answers to. And best of all, the technique I'm going to demonstrate is completely free to use. So let's get started. You can use an AI tool like Gemini, ChatGPT or Copilot to analyse text and images or a Word document, PDF and even a ping file. You could be working in any field or studying for any discipline. In this video, I'm going to use the discipline of social work as an example. So let's say you're a social work practitioner or a student and you're currently reading this document to find some answers to a problem or concern. You can see that the Basra website allows you to download the Code of Ethics. I'll do this and then I'll move on to ChatGPT. At the bottom of the ChatGPT webpage, I'll click on the paper clip icon and I can then upload this publicly available document from my computer for the AI to read. According to ChatGPT, the document is stored temporarily and no longer retained once my session ends. Once uploaded, the really exciting thing is I can now ask questions that relate directly to the contents of the document. For example, let's say I'm struggling with something I've seen at work and I want to know should social workers challenge unjust policies and practices? I can send this question through to the AI and then wait to see how it's going to respond. The AI reads and analyzes all of the text in the document and comes back with this response that tells me social workers are responsible for challenging unjust policies and practices as per the Basra Code of Ethics. This duty involves alerting employers, policymakers, politicians and the public about inadequate resources and unfair, harmful or illegal policies. Is rooted in the values of social justice and human rights, social workers aim to counteract oppression, exclusion, stigma and subjugation to foster an inclusive society. And advocating for equitable resource distribution and anti-oppressive practices is both a professional responsibility and a moral imperative aligned with social work's mission to promote social change, cohesion and empowerment. In this video I'm using the social work discipline as an example, but imagine using this approach with say your chemistry textbook or maybe your history textbook or maybe an annual report from a company. You could ask all sorts of questions about the text in those documents. And what I like about this AI is, is that it's not just limited to simple questions like should social workers challenge unjust policies and practices. Here for example I could also ask a question like can you provide me with a case study that demonstrates how social workers can challenge unjust policies and practices? This is the type of question you might use to get some ideas to deal with a situation that might be concerning you. The response can help you build knowledge, experience and understanding. Once I've sent this question through, the AI analyzes the text and gives me a very thorough response via a case study about how social workers can challenge unjust policies and practices. And you can see that the key takeaways from the case study advocating for fair housing policies are gathering evidence, community engagement, coalition building, policy advocacy and legal action. Do take a moment to pause the video to read these if you want to in more detail. I'd really encourage you to try it yourself and have a go. However, do remember that whilst this is a great technique, I would advise that you check the AI generated responses against the source text that you're exploring. For example, I found that when I posed this question in the case study advocating for fair housing policies, Show me the relevant codes that relate to the different actions outlined. Now what I found is, is that there are some inaccuracies. For example, the codes to human rights and human dignity are on page 6 of the document and not on page 10 as indicated here. And also providing information to people affected by social work decisions is not on page 21 and should not be referred to as point 4.4 of the code. So you do need to go through the responses to make sure that they are accurate. Even with these issues, this is still a good way to explore, analyse and engage with online documents. What I like is that the AI brings the document to life and you can interrogate its contents by asking it to provide real life examples that hopefully you can relate to. 
In closing, I'd advise that you always check the AI's generated outputs for accuracy against the documents that you're exploring. Now, even though this technique works quite well, I would strongly suggest that in your work, AI should be used as a supplement to and not as a replacement for your own judgment and expertise. For more videos about AI use, please click this link here. I really hope you found this video useful and thank you for watching. Don't forget to like, share and subscribe for more videos and I look forward to seeing you next time. Bye.